I got a few of those larger pieces this morning. Oh, right. They come from Yabby Pump and that. Oh, this looks good. This is what I look for. See how the bedrock? Yeah. The jagged right. bedrock. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a bit of uh, prospecting. Now I bet you're wondering why I'm out in the pitch black. That's because we have got a couple of new toys and it's a little bit hard to show you how well these uh, toys work during daylight hours. So first off, we got the Olight Warrior X Pro flashlight. This thing is an absolute beast of a flashlight. Only just been released in Australia, guys. And I'm also gonna mention, we're actually going to be giving one of these torches away to one of you lucky viewers. If you want the chance to win Olight's Warrior X Pro, the newest model flashlight out, hang around to the end of the video and we'll discuss all the giveaway details. What we'll do, we'll turn the camera around, have a bit of a scout around with the Warrior X Pro and then we're going to get out Olight's ultraviolet flashlight and we're going to do a bit of prospecting around and see if we can't pick up any shiny rocks. So come along, hope you enjoy and let's hit it, eh? As you can see, we're just relying off my torch on my on my camera what we're going to do is get out this warrior x pro tactical flashlight and we'll flick it on and have a gaze at that guys Let's see if i can get my camera to focus a bit better this torch holds 2250 lumens it has a distance of 600 meters and we will sort of have a bit of a scout around just look for a potential area of rock we've got the creek it's come up a bit since all this rain there's something in the bush there probably a Boogie man. Yeah, looks like someone's dammed up over here somewhere. There's a bit of a bit of a hole there, so potentially a good spot over there. Check the fiber optics out. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it on camera it doesn't really do it much justice on camera you can see the fiber optics around the inside of the beam just inside the front of it there in person that glows a hell of a lot better also Olight has sent me the uh, the keychain UV flashlight this thing, I'm actually really excited to give this a whirl and this is the reason why I've come out in the pitch black. We're going to turn this torch on and we're just going to have a bit of a walk around just shining it on the ground and just see if we can't find anything of interest. I highly doubt we're going to find anything cool under the UV light but Hey, you never know if you don't try, right, guys? Oh, what do we got here? Check that out. That is so cool. Okay, we might keep that. And we're just going to have a bit of a walk around and my eyes are playing tricks on me after the looking through at the Warrior X Pro. I'm, I feel like I'm blinded. Right. Have a 
go. Okay, we might take that too. Alright guys, I think I might be here for a few hours playing around with this black light. What we really want is something to really glow up really good, eh? What's this one? So... Have a go at that. They're only bits of quartz by the looks of it. That is cool. I'll just collect them anyway. We're not really having much luck trying to find uh, fluoride or calcite uh, specimens or and all that sort of stuff, so I'm not gonna give up just yet. We've still got a little bit of time before the sun's fully up, and we'll just go for another bit of a wander, maybe downstream a bit, and just see if we can't find something all right. Okay. Okay, go, there's another one, guys. Look at that. There's one rock just there, just there that's not glowing. And then you get the UV onto that. And look at that light up. That is cool. And we'll keep that. Keep that one. So all these pieces I pick, I'm picking up kind of look like quartz, but it could be calcite. I'm no expert with minerals and all that sort of stuff. That's why I'm doing a geology course. But we will still just look around, pick up anything that half shimmers. You can see, like, these here rocks aren't glowing too well. Okay guys, we got a few little pieces, nothing too flash. They're not as bright and vivid in colour as I was hoping, but hey, this is the first time I've ever tried this style of prospecting, other than prospecting for gold, so I think we've done okay. I will get, def I'll definitely get some new batteries for this torch. And we will do a video in the near future where we come out at night and we prospect for gems and all that sort of good stuff. So I'll get set up. We'll maybe head back up, try and find Mr. Crouch, and then we'll start doing a bit of gold prospecting, eh? We're just going to have a bit of a sticky beak around upstream from where I was last week. Still got blackberries everywhere. So basically this all would be old timers uh, tailings and by the looks of this they probably toss these rocks down here 
I'm wondering whether it's worth maybe clearing back some overburden, getting down and exposing some crevices along this patch of bedrock. But I might just go back to where I was last week and we'll just see if I can't find any crevices closer to where I was working in the previous video. We got some hard packed gravels in this crevice just here. So we will start popping them and washing them and we'll see what our first pan yields. Just busted a knuckle. I've done a few test pans out of these holes, all these crevices I started just before and I was barely getting any specks of gold. In my last video, all the gold I got came from just there and there was quite a bit of gold from that crevice just there. Well I've come up onto this crevice just here barely getting any specks. I've started panning all the material from in around this bedrock and off the top of the bedrock, not one speck. I've followed it up, not one speck. In my last video, there was a couple of really, really rough pieces of gold that I got out of this. And it kind of makes me think, maybe, up in here where all these old timers workings are there might be a little bit of gold still shedding out of the hill but that is something that I will not find out until I remove all this overburden here and we do some more test pans of that spot Try and do this one handed. So I've Yabby pumped out my original crevice that I was doing the other day. And it's still hit and miss. But I just started moving some big rocks and Yabby pumping underneath it. So I'm curious to see if we're getting any more decent gold or if it's just completely gone. got here. Oh we got a we got a surfing prospector up there. <laughs> Nothing at all. Hang on, I'll come up. Oh. I would if it was warmer and that. Like if I, I end up getting in the water. You dig on Fuck up one? Yeah. Oh, occasionally I'll jam a yabby pump in there and just sort of. Yeah, I get my hand in there full. That's where I um get most of me um. I got a few of those larger pieces this morning. Oh, right. They come from Yabby pumping that. Oh, this looks good. This is what I look for. See all the bedrock? Yeah. The jagged right. bedrock. So we're just sort of scouting up and down the creek looking for good new spots and have a look in there. Might pay to have a bit of a crack up in there and see what goes on.
Is that where you're gonna work? Get behind this rock. Oh yeah. Have a look at that. I'm gonna yeah. sort of have a poke around over here and see how I go. So here on No Gold Prospecting, me and Crouch haven't found a single speck. Oh, I got two. Got two. <laughs> and I got, my best gold was first thing this morning at my old spot. It's kind of pretty well hit and miss around this uh, area at the moment. It looks good. It looks good. There is gold here. It's just, there's a lot of overburden on it and we're just... Too lazy to worry about it. We're not the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're not old enough. We're, we're not old enough. Those ones up, up the other end. Yeah, where I was this morning. No. Oh, that's this morning. Yeah, this is this morning. Since then, I haven't gotten a speck. Oh, okay. But I thought that's what you got over there. I thought you didn't get any. Nice picker. That's my total for today, guys. Not a great deal. And we'll see what Crouch has got. <laughs> no, I can hardly hold the pan, hang on. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Brace yourself, guys. Yes. We've got about Three an specs. ounce. <laughs> a one, a two, a three. Three specks. And a and that, hole. <laughs> and that was all from just down in here where we were for about, uh, about a half hour, yeah, 40 well, minutes. Just have a long. Around. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, make sure you go over and check out Crouch's channel, The Surfing Prospector. And um, you can go over and say hi to him on his channel for me. I'll leave the video here. With that being said, peace, I'm out, and I'll see you in the next one. Ow. <laughs>we are going to host a giveaway. Olight Australia wants to give one of you guys a free torch. If any of you guys would like a chance to win the Warrior X Pro flashlight, all you have to do is go down, like and follow Olight Australia's Facebook page, be a subscriber to this channel. Once you've gone over, liked and followed Olight Australia's Facebook page, come back to this exact video, drop a comment, which flashlight is your favorite, why you think you should win the Warrior X Pro, and that's basically it, guys. I will draw the winner in the next video, so keep an eye out for that. With that being said, here's some gold, guys.